question and answer time. So who's got a question tonight? Yes. So when you're on stage and the lights are in your eyes, you always say that the number one thing about stand-up comedy is your relationship with the audience. Yeah. So if you can't see them, how do you deal with knowing what's going on and having a relationship with the audience? <laughs> Boy, that's a good one. You know, when the lights are in your eye, how do you, how do you uh, communicate or how do you uh, know what's going on? Yeah, that's exactly right. How do you know what's going on in the audience? So the first uh, answer to that is here primarily, and then kind of feel. I don't know how to explain it. It's all part of the hear, feel, you know, that you can hear the rumblings. And, you know, I find if I'm working and I hear a lot of people coughing and stuff, I know that then, <laughs> you know, I'm not doing well. Uh, you're not hearing laughter, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you've got to hear, feel. That's the first thing. Uh, now, there's several things that people do. Here's what I used to do, and so, you know, I get in a situation like, you can see the front row, and, and I barely. Personally, I never perform on my glasses because I didn't want to see faces specifically, just people out there, okay? So what I used to do is do this, okay? And go, okay, there's a couple over here, and there's, you know, like, it looks like five people from work over here, and then there's a Latino couple, and a black and white couple, and a blah, 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 you know, you know, a couple, you know, a couple ladies sitting together, a couple guys, you know, okay, and I get that in my mind, and then as I do the show, you know, I'd say, oh, for instance, you ladies. You know, and I look out in that direction from the picture in my head, and they think I'm looking at them. I have no idea, <laughs> specifically, where they are. You know, you guys, you know, did, did whatever it is. I, this couple over here, whatever, I, you know, because it's kind of like the, what I always called kind of tailoring your show to the audience, where you kind of bring them into the joke and stuff. That's what I would do. So I, because I, I say you get one of those. Because I've seen a lot of comics that do their whole show like this. <laughs> so they can see people and their whole show. And if you're on video, it's terrible because we can't see your eyes. It, you know, it, it, the, the, the video is useless for anything except for listening to your material again and all. I say you just get one of those. You get one. And then just quickly take a snapshot and then pretend those people are out there and the other thing is to really got to learn to listen because ultimately what I find is wonderful about stand-up comedy is getting a rhythm with the audience that relationship I talk about it's you putting out the joke and them laughing and you putting out the joke and them laughing and then you know and you get that rhythm with them and where you find that is really that's where we get back to the hear, feel. You've got to be listening and be aware of everything that's going on in the audience in order to have that relationship. Because my definition of that relationship, a lot of people think, I mean, oh, riffing, hello, what's your name, what do you do for your own crowd work? What I mean by relationship is you care enough to take in their information and let it have an impact on the show. So if these people are talking, you're going, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> you know, somebody drops a drink. Oh, who dropped a drink? And you're, you, and that, by doing that, listen, uh, listen and, and feeling and really attending to the audience, you can get that rhythm going. And for me, that's the best kind of a show. That's, that means what they call an organic show because you're creating the interpretation of your material for the audience that's in front of you.